If you're anything like me, you're constantly on the lookout for the next new thing. The new productivity hack, the new memorization technique, the new way to outsource your entire life. Whatever it is, we are constantly on the lookout. And those things are all great. But what really matters is not having the best productivity system in the world. What matters is having your own system that you can follow daily. And the daily part isn't emphasized for no reason. You need to have a system you can follow every single day. My to-do list used to be huge. And no matter how much I worked, it always felt like I really wasn't making any progress at all. Like I was stuck in the same place. And it's just so easy to add a new task to your to-do list. That's when I went out and started reading a lot of productivity books. My favorites include Indistractable, Free to Focus, and Make Time. In this video, we're only going to focus on Make Time, but I also recommend the two other books because they're great reads. Make Time is not about getting as much stuff as possible done or outsourcing your life and so on. It's about making time for the things that matter. And that sentence alone has helped me shift my perspective and see the error in my ways. Sometimes weeks went by where I'd had nothing worthwhile to talk about to my friends and family. I was so focused on my to-do list, I didn't make time for myself and for my own needs and for my own wishes. Make time takes a different approach. It focuses on a single core daily activity, the one thing you actually want to do. According to the writers of the book, there are two powerful forces constantly battling for our time. First, busy bandwagons. This is our culture of constantly staying busy, having the biggest to-do list and doing as much as possible in a single day. Second, infinity pools. These are apps and games and whatever that have an endless amount of replenishing content. Think Netflix, Instagram, TikTok, video games and so on. The problem with these two forces is that they're our defaults. We either endlessly cling to our to-do lists and trying to get as much done as possible, or we lose our time by scrolling Instagram and TikTok. The problem is that you lack control in your life. If you're constantly working and living your life on someone else's agenda, you're not actually giving the time and your own focus and patience towards something you want to build and create, or at least an activity you can be proud that you enjoyed and did. Make time is designed to help you get control of your life at the very least one task a day. You need to break the default cycle of being constantly busy and just looking at apps with endless content and create your own productivity system. Make time does this in four simple steps. Number one, a single highlight to prioritize your day. If you start your days by choosing a focal point of the day, something that will define the entire day, an activity that will make it all worthwhile, you will have such an easier time to do all of your tasks because you have something to look forward to. You can pick your highlight by answering any of these questions. What do I want to be the highlight of my day? What's the most pressing thing I have to do today? At the end of the day, which highlight will bring me the most satisfaction? Your highlights should be between 60 and 90 minutes long. Anything less than 60 minutes won't really feel like a highlight. And anything over 90 minutes just might be killing it. Make sure to schedule the time of the day for your own highlight. You don't want other people pushing their own agenda on your time. Your highlight is your time, enjoy it. Number two, laser. Be the distraction so you can make time for your highlight. You want to be laser focused on your highlight. It's your time after all. If your phone is constantly buzzing, you're getting emails, you're answering messages, or you end up on a 72 minute video binge, you're not really focusing on the highlight of your day. You don't want to wait on technology to give you your time back. You have to be the boss of your own phone. Make your phone distraction free by either installing apps like Freedom that will block all apps and websites on a click of a button for the allotted time, or do the following. Delete all of your social apps, delete other infinity pools, delete email and remove your account, remove web browsers, and keep everything else. I personally find it easier to just push one button on an app that will block everything else that's distracting me than to do the latter. But 
sometimes the second option can be much more powerful. Also, you need to watch out for time craters. Time craters happen when we try to fill the time between two activities by either going to Instagram, Twitter, TikTok or so on. You go there for 5 minutes because you have the time and suddenly you're on a 30 minute binge. If you feel regret after using an app for 2 minutes or more likely those 2 minutes turned into 2 hours, you really don't need that app, it's only giving you regret. Uninstall it. Distraction is your enemy. If you really want to enjoy the highlight of your day, you need to be laser focused on it. Number 3. Energize. Use the body to recharge your brain. The defaults of today's world are assuming that your brain is driving the whole operation. But that's not really how it works. If you don't take care of your body, your brain can't operate to its full capacity. Imagine for a second that you were a caveman. How different would your life be? You would be moving more often, being with people face to face, eating real food, mostly plants, and going to sleep when the sun sets. This is what your body was made for. It was made for these types of lives. Evolution didn't catch up to our finger tapping future. Our bodies are still back in the hunter gathering era. And that means if you're not using your body like you're supposed to, walking often, eating real food, getting adequate amount of sleep, your brain can't operate to its full capacity. And I don't mean that you need to become a caveman, but there are some lessons you can apply to your daily life that will help you increase your energy levels. For example, you need to exercise every single day. But I don't mean extreme exercise like going to the gym for 60 minutes. Even a 20 minute walk is enough. So what I want you to do is just take a 20 minute walk every day and you will see in a week or two how much more energy you have. It's very simple, everything you do, all of the movement, everything counts as exercise. But if you're sitting in your chair and laying in your bed 16 hours a day, you're not really moving your body enough to be at the peak of your energy level. Make sure to eat like a hunter-gatherer too. Eat real food and put your salad first on your plate. If you're a chocolate addict like I am, swapping your chocolate for dark chocolate is a scientifically proven good choice. There are even some studies done that dark chocolate actually helps increase your concentration and your focus. And lastly, take real breaks and get adequate amount of sleep. We were made to take naps. Don't be afraid to take some. Even lying in your bed for 15 minutes can be considered a real break. Also, at nights, you might be tempted to watch one more TV show or play video games for one more hour, but the effects are way worse than you think. You're not just losing one hour of your sleep. Your body is used to sleeping at certain times, and as soon as you're not sleeping at the same time, your body thinks you are in danger. And when your body thinks you're in danger, it's gonna keep you awake for a longer time until it's 100% sure you've avoided danger. Sometimes it's even gonna wake you up earlier just so you can check if the danger is still around. That's how it used to be in the caveman days. You needed to always be prepared. Make yourself a sleeping schedule and stick to it, even on the weekends. Remember, if you want your brain to be in top shape, your body needs to be as well. Number four, reflect. Adjust and improve your system. The book, Make Time, contains hundreds of little tactics and hacks that you can use in your productivity system every single day. The important part is when you're trying out new tactics that you reflect on how well they do for you. The tactic might be perfect for someone else but just isn't a great fit for you. You can simply try again tomorrow with a different tactic. Ask yourself these questions. Which tactics did I try today? How did it go? And add a little bit of gratitude by asking yourself what moments am I grateful for? And that's it. To recap, if you follow this video, you first highlighted the one thing you want to do today, laser focused yourself on the highlight of the day, took a 20 minute walk to refresh your mind and body, and lastly did a recap and a reflection of your day so that you're certain what went wrong today and what can go better tomorrow. Again, this video has been inspired by the amazing book, Make Time. Make sure to check it out in the description. But for now, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos that help you be a better you.